<sighs> What's up guys, it's Rob the Undead Gamer here with some gaming news for you. Now, today Square Enix are sort of announcing and sort of getting at that they will be releasing Final Fantasy XIII 3. That's right, you heard correctly. One sequel wasn't enough, they had to make a third. Why on earth are Square Enix doing this? I really don't understand. As if 13 wasn't bad enough, they did make a sequel, 13-2, and yeah, that was bad enough as well. They have to make another one, 13-3, which no doubt will be even more bad enough. So let's talk about this. In a recent interview with Famitsu Magazine, which is a Japanese gaming magazine, Matomu Toriyama, who is a gaming director at Square Enix and in charge of directing Final Fantasy, was asked if they'll be doing anything to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the franchise. And he replied that basically they're going to be doing something that will explain the secret ending in one of Lightning's DLCs from Final Fantasy XIII 2. Now seeing as Final Fantasy XIII 2 was never given an ending and all these DLCs that they released for it again didn't give the game an ending it's clear that 13.3 is most likely definitely gonna happen. So Final Fantasy 13 began development in 2004 was announced in 2006 and then released in 2010 so many people were excited for this game so many people and when it was released it was probably the biggest disappointment in gaming history it really didn't go down well for huge fans of the Final Fantasy franchise with its linear paths confusing storyline pretty rubbishy characters and awful gameplay especially the battle system Final Fantasy 13 was just one massive long corridor that's basically it if you look at the plans for the game level designs they are literally just one long corridor to me the story was really really confusing and I mean I was reading the journal updates so I could follow the story but I shouldn't have to do that to follow a story in a game you know and even after reading the journal I was still thinking right okay some of the characters were pretty cool I mean I liked lightning snow and vanilla but the rest of them like Hope, were really annoying. I hated them, didn't like them at all, couldn't relate to any of them, and I just thought, you're a stupid character. Why are you here? Moan, 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 that's all Hope ever did. So here's the battle system. Oh, that was good. I mean, that was a really boring battle system. You did nothing but tap A or X, depending on what system you were playing it on. But that was literally it. I mean, as exciting as it got was the paradigm shifts, which admittedly did bring a bit of strategy to the battle system and made it slightly enjoyable. But at the same time, you're still doing absolutely nothing. You're not controlling any of the characters. Even the one character you're allowed to control, you're really barely controlling whatsoever. It was just awful. They need to go back to the classic turn-based battle system. I mean, to be fair, they changed the system in 12, and I quite liked that. And you were in control of everyone in your party. But it's just ridiculous. They're just pre-auto-automated attacks. Oh, this guy's weak to fire, so we'll just do fire bolts at him. And whilst clicking A, it's just, it was pointless. They either need to do something quite similar to how 12 did if they want to move on or just literally go back to the turn-based battle systems which to be quite honest I would prefer if they did that because that was just so much better it just really wasn't what to me a Final Fantasy game is so then like last year they announced 13 2 and I was a bit like really okay and I followed it I followed it for about a year and it looked to be the game 13 should have been it looked like they'd improved on the linearity, uh, possibly the battle system, because they had those active time things, uh, the characters, the story, the world. It, it seemed more like a Final Fantasy game. Plus there was Moogles in it. But it looked to be what 13 should have been. And I was quite excited for it. But I thought 
I'll wait for the reviews to come out. And when it was released February this year, the reviews come out, and I wasn't wasn't that impressed. I mean, yeah, they added sort of like a Pokemon thing, but that's not everything. If I want to play a Pokemon thing, I will play Pokemon. But at the end of the day, it wasn't what I was hoping for it to be. And to be honest, it disappointed me a bit. And I think some other people, I mean, admittedly fans of the series, or the fans of 13, were, were happy with 13 too, and good for them. But it just wasn't wasn't what a Final Fantasy fan wants. Wasn't what I wanted. Plus the fact when I found out that 13.2 was released without an ending, I was like, well, hang on a minute. And then Square Enix are releasing a load of DLCs to finish off the story or just give it alternative endings. What? So they already make a crap game that hasn't got an ending that you spent 40 quid on or more depending on the edition you've got and they're making you fork out more money for DLC so you can have several endings which don't really end the story at all oh <laughs> nice one Square Enix nice one and the music in both the games wasn't all that great I mean I loved absolutely loved and still listen to the title screen music from Final Fantasy 13 because that piano is absolutely beautiful but the rest of it was all right I mean it was quite it was good for the the game you know but then 13 2 had quite a range of different styles and music which it just it, to me it didn't feel right it didn't fit I mean if you listen to the chocobo theme what the hell is that I mean I don't think that's Square Enix saying hey we've got a sense of humor I mean, because if it is, then are they just literally taking the piss out of the series? Because that's what it looks like. It just looks like, hey, we've already ruined the series. <laughs> Why not ruin its music as well? <laughs> I mean, to be quite honest with you, I'm just slowly losing hope in Square Enix and the Final Fantasy franchise and series, as a lot of Final Fantasy fans already have. I mean, I don't know if they realise, but they're literally losing hardcore fans. They really are. The only thing from the 13 universe that I'm looking forward to, but even now I've given up hope of ever seeing, is Versus 13. I mean, where the hell is that game, Square Enix? That was announced six years ago as well, around, you know, and, well, longer now actually, eight years ago that was announced. And where is it? Is it still in development? Because I tell you, for about two years we've not heard anything about that game. Nothing. You know? Is that even in development? 13.2 come up before that game. Is Versus still around? Does it still exist? Or can't they just be bothered anymore? Because I tell you what, a lot of hardcore Final Fantasy fans were looking forward to that game because that looked like a game 13 should have been. That looks like the standard of game Final Fantasy needs to be pushing out. Like what they used to in the good old days. So, I mean, back in the 90s, before Square merged with Enix, when they were Squaresoft, they were like the gaming RPG heavyweights. Literally, they set the bar for gaming. No matter what genre, they set the standard. Graphically, gameplay, story, they set the bar. They were like, this is what games should be like. And they were whacking out game after game after game in the 90s. All sorts of RPGs, all sorts of series. I mean, you had Chrono, Parasite Eve, all these great series. And now we barely even see a game. And if we hear a whisper of a game, that's literally all it is, generally. A whisper. Because that's all Versus has become now. A whisper. Is that game ever going to see the light of day? I don't think it will anymore. I really don't. And that upsets me, because it looked like an amazing game. So really, until Square Enix say, yeah, we're, we're doing this, and release more information, I can't really comment on 13.3. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't care anymore. I mean, they either just need to move on, or, I don't know. But when 13.3 will be released, I have no idea, but it will most likely be released before Versus. Although one thing that I did find was quite interesting is that Yoshinori Katasi said 
that he wants to have like a development cycle similar to Call of Duty. So Call of Duty always whack out a new Call of Duty game every year. And Katarsi wants to do the same. Is that in general with Square Enix? Bearing in mind he was a former director, and he's now a game producer, but he was a former director of most of the biggest Final Fantasy games, 6 and 7 to name a few. But is this with general Square Enix games, or is this with Final Fantasy games, or just with Final Fantasy 13 games? Because it just looks like it's becoming its own series now, which if it does I'm going to be mega pissed. But I'm sorry, if they can't make a decent game in six years, how are they going to make an amazing game in one year? So that's it guys, I mean, tell me what you think about this news, 13.3, what's your opinion? Are you fed up with 13? Are you fed up with Square Enix? Or are you looking forward to 13.3? If so, tell me down below in the comments section, because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. As always, I've been the Undead Gamer, and thanks for watching.